What's the word, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Sites, and I'm back with part two of how we about to make your jewelry look crazy, you feel me? So today we about to do that little teeth clip that I left out from yesterday, you feel me? I just felt like I needed to isolate this one for y'all. But yeah, man, let's get straight to this, bro. If you already have your clip situated, just pre-compose it because it's about to get real critical. And once you pre-compose it, just duplicate it one time. And once you duplicate it, you're just gonna cut it every two frames. After you make those cuts, you're just gonna rotoscope each one as well as freezing them. All right, so now we're gonna add an optical glow and on that optical glow, we're gonna up the size and lower the actual amount. Also, let's change the quality and the alpha channel. The amount always depends on uh, how bright the jewelry comes off. So sometimes you might have to bring up the highlights only option. To, yeah, but once you do that, you can just copy with Control C and paste with Control V onto the rest of your layers, and you don't even have to keyframe these because they all last two frames. So now we're gonna go for a cool little light sweep. Let's just duplicate our clip. Then on that duplication, let's add S glint. Once we add the glint, let's hop into Mocha, and let's just make a mask around his teeth. The reason why I had you add the glint was because you know it's gonna make the sweep look cooler. But now on the main clip, add regular Mocha AE, track the teeth once more, and yeah. And now just put that new layer over your glint layer. Make sure you name your glint layer as well. And then name that new layer sweep. Now just go into the light sweep layer and create an AE mask. Now to get rid of them rigid edges, we just come into the mask and let's feather that. We can add a light sweep onto the layer and then we can hit the stopwatch on the center. And then let's drag that little point that you see for the center. Let's take it across his teeth and let's make sure that's on the new keyframe. Then we can play with these settings, change the direction, sweep intensity, edge intensity, and stuff like that. Last but not least, add an optical glow. Then once you add that optical glow, you can play with the highlights only, also the size and the amount. And once you get that look at how you want it, boost the glow only up to 100 and then change the quality in the alpha channel. You should be solid. And that's all folks. If you enjoyed this tutorial, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and you already know, I'm gonna be back with another one. Peace.